Welcome to King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, standing here with Dave Maddala and a very special guest. This gentleman, Greg McLean, why don't you tell them where you're from? You mean Greg McLean? McLean, sorry. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I'm from Prince Edward Island, Canada. Uh, I've recently been sort of laid up, so I've been watching YouTube, bowl, YouTube and the candle pin bowling on, on, on my television. And I run across these two guys in the King of the Palace thing. And it's, it's just great to watch. There's so many people here that was here today. And it's all one big family and they're all doing their best to do what they can. And it's just great to watch and, and I'm so impressed. And I just felt like I was in a whole room of celebrities today because of everyone I've seen over the couple of years I've been watching now. And they're all here today. It was just great. What made it special is Greg drove down here specifically just to come watch the show. He wasn't in the neighborhood. It happened to just happen. And he brought cookies. Yes. And he brought cookies. Thank you to your girlfriend, Christine. Christine. Taylor. Thank you, Christine. They were delicious, and yes, they will they be are. delicious. Yeah. And uh, being that you came down here and you're but such a big King of the fan, a King of the Palace fan, Dave has a little present for you. Okay. So what we were doing is that's not a suppository, um, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a tip. <laughs> so what we did was is um, we all signed it. Okay. Wow. Um, you have the King of the Palace. Clan, you also have uh, uh, Mark Ricci. Yes. All right, and also there is Richie uh, Myrick. Richie Myrick is there. Steve yeah. Reno. Yeah. And Steve Reno wow. and Travis, the OEPD. Yes. We have George, um, and we have uh, Steve Bronchuk and Becca Vestal. And Very if anybody on. else wants to sign it while we're here, then they're yeah. more than free to. Very nice. Also, uh, I have the very first ever t shirt that we ever made. Wow. So for yourself. Hmm for coming all the way down from Canada because you are, are actually the only fan that travel that far. <laughs> I've gotten phone calls from all over the world, yeah. but you're the only person that's ever come down. So I appreciate it. This is and this welcome is to the family. Thank you very, very much. Um, most people just get a key to the city and, and I get a pin, a pin to the palace. Well, there you go. The, the, key, the key to the city isn't worth very much. No, no. This no. is worth more. This is okay. Well, yeah. I'll take it with, with all the thanks of, of everyone around. And it's been a great day, great experience. And for everybody, give King of the Palace a try on, on the YouTube and subscribe and get it all done. And I even had the great opportunity today of watching. George, suck at bowling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And yeah. it, it was fun, too. So thank you very much, and thank you for the gifts. You're thank you, Greg. Kick back, relax, and yeah. enjoy the show. Thank you. How about a big hand for Greg for coming all the way down here? Yay! Now we'll bring up our teams, the returning champs, and our number four seeds. You going to stay up here? You want me to get out of here? No, you can stay if you like. Okay, I'll stay. I don't care. So they, they need a new introduction, but they're going to get one anyway. The returning champs, the team of Dave Dupuy and Tom Clawson. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks. It's been a while since you've been here to defend your titles. How have you been bowling? Uh, not very good. I haven't bowled for like five months, so I'm just starting to bowl again. So I hurt myself again, and uh, hopefully it'll be all right today. You're just trying to lull them into a false sense of security? <laughs> well, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> have you won any more titles in duck since the last time we saw you? No, I haven't. Have you been bowling? Yes. Well? Not bad. Okay. So you're going to have to carry. We just recently won or came in third in the national team triples nice. with Jim Nestor. So oh, oh, we don't mention his name around here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, good luck to you. I hope you can uh, have a good luck retaining your titles. But this team over here is going to have something to say about it. The, the uh, number four seeds with a roll-off score of 765. Ray Dow and Becca Vesto both been on the show previously. Becca is the first queen of the palace. Welcome back to the show. Hi. You're going to talk more this time? Um, maybe. No, I'll take that as a no. <laughs> How you doing, Ray? I'm great, Dennis. Thank you. You brought a lot out of me the last time I was here. I did. I did. I think that was sufficient for a while, like at least a year. So she's a woman of few words. That's very true. Only when I'm on TV. Only when she's on TV. If she's not on TV, forget it. What are your thoughts about going against the champs first round? Oh, it'll be tough. I mean, you know, they're the champs, and Dave's been on every show imaginable, so true. it's going to be tough, but... Hopefully Just she can keep help. carrying me like she did all day today. <laughs> Is he heavy? No, he lost a lot of weight recently. He did. He did. You so, look great. So a lot easier to do. Man. And he is single, ladies. Just so you know. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Good luck to you. I'll see one team in the 11th box. 
Up first on Alley 4, the number four seed, Miss Becca Vestal. And her partner, Mr. Ray Dow. And on the Alley 3, the number three seed, Mr. Tom Clausen and Dave Dupree, the returning champs. They, uh, re they uh, took the King's option and they rolled better than the fifth seed. So they start in the fifth seed. Ray Dow shooting for the head pin. This Bro. is That's this Tom Clawson. This Tom is the Clawson season rather. finale. Thank you, Dennis. You're this, welcome. Of season seven. David, seven years, good buddy. David, Dennis, I can't, I can't seven years. Of, I can't think of a better way to close it out with the, the tag team division. Only you, David. And by freshy stuff in his face with chocolate chip cookies. And beer. And beer. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Master Super Ludwig Bass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau, his excellent sales staff at a new or pre owned Master or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling. See our good friend George do parodies on candle pin bowling, duck pin bowling, and 10 pin bowling. Also, videos on Minecraft and arcade. One up, let's play games. Um, he also does Minecraft live streams and Abandoned World and Twitch TV. Uh, George F551. Oh, oh, wow. Got robbed on that, Dennis. We had an awesome turnout today. Oh, yeah. Can't do what we do without the bowlers, man. And they, they came out. They, they were here, David, Dennis. Both bowlers, people, missing a two-pinner. Not as easy as it looks, like I've always said. Nothing's easy. Nothing's easy in camping bowling. After two, returning champs Dupuy and Claus in a 27. Vestal and Dow at 22 with their handicap. Becca Vestal is... Uh, 100 average. Um, her high single is a 156. Her high trip is a 379. Her home alleys are Metro Bowl in Peabody and Sunnyside in Danvers. And her claim to fame on the show, David, three strikes in a row. And the first ever Queen of the Palace. And the first ever. Thank you, Dennis, for the people who recognize that. She's shooting an ugly, what is she shooting, an MK hit? Yeah. Yes. MK love. Oh, school. Dead, the head pin just. Tom Clausen on alley three. His average is a 106. His high single is a 142. His high triple is a 369. Uh, he comes from uh, his home alleys are rollaway lanes and lucky strike lanes. Then doing duck pin. And Becker gets a nine dot and Tom shooting the one three for ten and he gets the ten. Both bowlers look relaxed here, Dennis, David. Well, well they've both been here yeah, before. They've been here before. They know the pressure of the camera, the lights. The camera's shining on them. And who directs that? The one and only, the OEPD, Travis Shaw. There's only one. Travis Shaw. Travis Shaw. I'm, wow. spot. I'm thinking of the, the former Red Sox first. I, I apologize. We, have, we have a new producer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. That'll never happen. That will what? never Red happen. Red Sox Shaw. Travis Shaw, you should be a Red Sox. Player. Look at that they, break. They, tra they traded him to Milwaukee. That was Long a real thing. ugly leave of the one, three, six, and nine, and the six fell into the three that fell into the one. So he's got another one pin spin. You gotta uh, yeah, watch off of that deadwood, though. Yeah, that's that's yeah. really wood. Where are you going, Dennis? Uh, Becca, I would play on the right side of that. Just everything. Right down. Where's Tom going? <laughs> I have no idea. Cap the front wood. Spraying and praying, baby. and praying, yeah. Who knows? Oh, nice that's it. Okay, nice shot. And thank you to all 1,088 of Whoa. our subscribers. Wow. Wow. We didn't hit the 1100 mark, but thank We're you for close. the effort. We're Don't close. worry, yo, the summertime's still rolling. So we have uh, J June 29th will be the first ever, well, actually not first ever, but will be the first off-season of King of the yeah. Palace. Off the year King of the Palace. And season eight, we're going to have uh, a couple surprises in store for you. Maybe I'll mention them today, maybe I won't, I don't know. Depends <laughs> on my mood. Deck a little bit wide left. Tom, Tom fills left. it with five, leaves them Kaliri. Where are you going with those? She's got to split this one and hope for the seven. Yeah, I would split it. Yeah, hope the head pin turn takes out the seven. And oh, it, oh, nice, nice shot. Did make it. Nice shot, Becca. Nice I needed that. Nice shot. Oh, Tom, why, Ray? Leaves a spare for her partner, Ray, yeah. to fill. And if you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, just contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace. You sign a piece of paper. It doesn't cost you a thing. They contact us. We stream it to them. They air it for you. And again, they pick the date and time that they air it. We do not. And you know, in the day, in the era of smart TVs, you can just type in YouTube right on your smart TV and pull up King of the Palace that way and watch it on any size TV that you want. Absolutely. In, in high definition. How many we got now? 
Texas. 17? 17 and counting. At the half, Dupuy and Clawson at 61. Vessel and Dow at 50, working on a spare. Thank Up you. now on alley three, Mr. Dave Dupree. He's been bowling for 53 years. His average is a 110. His high single is a 203. His high trip is a 505. Wow. And he's been on every TV show ever produced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's better in Candlepin Bowl. Yep. He says he won 10 tournaments in one year. Six Candlepin and four Duckpin. I'd believe it. And look at this ugly mess. That's, That's actually not too bad with the wood. Ray's going to spear. Mr. Ray Dow. Drops nine. Been bowling for 33 years. His average is a 108. His high single is a 185. His high trip is a 446. He is a good friend of the King of the Palace. Sub on my pro team. Very good friend of mine. And recently lost a ton of weight. And he's very proud of that fact. Yep. More power to you, brother. And just a little wide right. Wide right again. Trying to shoot down the six with a spear, just missed. One pin difference right now, 69 to 68 in favor of the champs. This, is what, this is what I love about the King of the Palace tag team, because it's quicker than the Hickory yep. man. Oh, yeah. And that's why sometimes I can't get to all your comments, and I do apologize. I'm going to try to get to them as soon as I can. Okay, here we go. Dave Dupuy, Ali Poole. Returning oh, champs. Right um, the head the pin. Plate. Nice hit. Good. Got the, got the, like, got the, the seven pin. pin. Ray on Alley three. Ray, oh. Off to the left. left. Four horsemen plus the nine. It's going to be difficult. It's better than the Cleary, though. Yeah. And Dupuy with nice the spear. spear. That's One their nine. third of the string. Dave's favorite shot is uh, the three five six or the two five ten. Oh, oh spear for spear. Ray. Ray, nice shot. Nice shot. And Ray's favorite shot is the one two six in the one three four. Okay, here we go. Both gentlemen, Mark. Both bowlers, better gentlemen. Than gentlemen. gentlemen. Ah, they're both gentlemen. They're nice guys. <laughs> They're all right. Here we go. Once eight, nine, a ten. Oh, wide Off left. The, yeah. That's still working. Drops five with a not too great leave. Okay. Ray can take the lead with this ball right here. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. He Only like drops that. three on it. He's looking at the bowling guards. My fault. People, you got to get the head pin. Oh, thought he had it. Thought he had it too, David. Thought he had it. Got to throw the strike ball to get the spare. Oh, oh. Ray put a little extra oomph on that yeah. one. He yeah, did load that one up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, I saw it, yeah. That was an excellent Which, turnout yeah. today. Yeah, you 19 teams. Well, 18 plus the champs. Did real well. Appreciate it. Everybody's effort. Well, we got a little break here. David, Dennis, in my ever-ending search of bowling terminology, I picked up something. Never knew it. Christ. Four, four, is, four there, is, there, is there a medication for this? No, four strikes in a row is a, is a four bagger. Uh, that's correct. Eagle. Okay, I'll you agree with that. Ten pins, it's called a hand bone. Of course, that's a game we, we don't, we, we don't, we like to think doesn't exist, but it's called a hand bone. I, I hold no ill will towards ten pin. I nope. bowl ten pin. I, I get no will toward it. It's just not bowling. But yeah. this is this is more difficult. Yeah, they call it they call it a hand bone. It's I just don't like it when people call it real bowling. That's what kicks me off. Oh, just missed. Another two pin. Not as easy as it looks. I know well, I Well, you know what happened the last time I went on a tangent of the 10 pin. <laughs> <laughs> Travis gave me a list of things not to say. <laughs> it wasn't just Travis. <laughs> Both get 10 boxes. Three pin okay. difference right now. Okay, Dennis, so I have a question for you. Okay. Since, you're, since you're on the text machine, mm -hmm. how many comments are on there from the episode where I accidentally swore? First time in seven years. I don't know, because they, they bleeped it out. Travis bleeped it out, so I don't know. No, he ble there's a bleep in there. Yes. So, I mean, people are commenting. I, I don't remember what episode it was. Couldn't believe it, David. <laughs> stunned me. Absolutely <laughs> stunned me. It happens. It happens. First time ever, though. First time ever, yeah. Seven oh. years. Well, doing um, New England Candlepins taping. Oh, he's got it. Last weekend. He got it. Yes. Back to wow. a spin. Back to a spin. Oh. Fourth one for the string. Um, during the taping, they had Rob Lidenhan doing commentary because uh, Jay Horrigan was out, and he swore in the air, <laughs> and they quickly dismissed him from his duties. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, can't do it. It. Ha I mean, it. It, it happens. I yes. mean, for seven years. I mean, to think of the things that I've said seven years, and out of the seven years, <laughs> you've I, only said it once. Slip, one slip out, up. Out of, out of the list of Dave. Steve, Dennis, don't say this, don't talk about that, don't do this, don't do that. You gotta change your verbiage, you know. And I come up with the four letter S word, 
<laughs> Not bad in my book. Oh. <laughs> After one, the returning <laughs> champs, Dupuy and Clausen at 122, Vestal and Dow at 109. 13 pin difference going into the second string. A lot more bowling to go. Oh, tons of bowling though. Thank you to Soiling, Soiling Whale Dog Dude. <laughs> How is he? Watson 956, yeah, Sherpa right. Jones. They're all there. Tom SU, Clausen on Alley 4. <laughs> SCSU 300, thank you for all your comments. No. Wide left, just missed. Becca Vestal no, on Alley 3. Uh, no, wide right. These the four horsemen left. Four horsemen left. Well, Becca's, Becca's kind of bowling with a, a bum knee, but she's still a trooper. Ooh. There she is. He should have got better than that, Tom. A little too full on it. Yeah. A little full, a lot of sap. Okay, he's shooting the, what's he got, the 210 for a 10? Oh boy, we missed that. Entirely. Tom bowls on one candle pin and one duck pin lead. And when he's not bowling, he's a machinist and he also enjoys fishing. Oh, see that one, Dennis? I did. The 10 pin fell towards us, knocked down the six. Why did it fall that way? Yo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> The way it was hit. He also won uh, two pro tours at Duck Pin. That's awesome. No, he's got the head pin. This oh no, look at this, David. What did he leave? Prune juice for everyone. The Absolutely. double pinochle. The double pinochle. Four, six, seven, ten. And Becca Roth left. And he's I, I got to give Steve credit on this one. He's not the one that came up with the double pinochle for this and bowling that was on Channel 5 years ago. Oh, yeah. I've never taken credit. The only thing yep. I took credit for is renaming Spears after the fifth one in the Oh, row. come on. You oh, can't. Yeah. 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 Yes. Nice shot. shot, Beck. Nice shot. Tom's shooting the 6-10 for a nice 10. He's got it. Becca up. will be up on the spear. Thank you to Evan Wilson, drum machine. And John Smith. I think I read the comments on this one before because I just recognized that one, so we'll go to the next one. Okay, Tom up. Oh, wide right. Becca on alley three. Her favorite shot is the single pins, and her least favorite shot, Steve, is the spread eagle. Uh, don't even get me going, Dave. Or the one seven ten, the high low jack. Punt quickly, Dennis. Look at this lead for Tom. How did this, how, well, yeah, but how did the seven pin go down? Plus the bunch, it was hit. You're right, how did it, it was hit, but how did it miss the nine? How did it miss the six? I don't I have no an idea. answer for that. I know. And back oh, oh wow. come on, come on. She just come. kissed it, but she didn't kiss it hard enough. enough. Almost. Almost. Nice pile you know, up. I can't even remember. Seven years ago, the very first episode. Yeah. You can't remember? No, I mean, because, I mean, I don't, I mean. Who were the, the bowlers? It was the, I don't remember that. I don't either. Really? Yeah. I don't even watch my own show. Can you ask <laughs> me seven years ago? Well, Travis says it's in there. We can find it. Oh, it's, oh, it's right there. there. It's yeah. right here. I can yeah. look it up in a second if yeah. you want me to. Yeah, you know, get a break, yeah. To, th to think of. All the shows we've had. How, how far we've come. Oh, David. You know, from the very first episode to. Seven you know, years later. Wide right again. you got to get that head pin, Dennis. Oh, there's a look. She got it. <laughs> and she leaves one of the. Oh, but Dennis, quick. Look at this, the six this pin. Is, this is. The six well, pin. you know what? He, he, she may have this shot right here. Yeah. Oh, That's no, not bad with that yeah, wood. The wood helps. Yeah. She, She's got to go right to the wood. Yeah. She, well, to the left of it. She has yeah. to hit the, the back wood, not that one in the front. Yeah. You don't want to cap it. Yeah. Oh, oh, she did she it. it. She caught it. She oh. caught it. Nice shot, Becca. What the heck do I don't? <laughs> I'm only a commentator. Ooh. Oh, wow, right around it. Dennis, David, it's candle pin bone. With it's, that uh, spare, the match is now dead even. So dead whatever even Becca drops it. on her fill is what they're leading for the match. And this is the first of three, right? Yeah, uh, second. Second, second of three, yeah. Three string row luck people it's for the doubles. We have three strings to go, to go up the ladder. This time, and he got the head pin, and there it is. Ah, wow, dropping a bomb. Talk about a bomb. Wrecking a rack on alley four. Becca working on her spare. Yeah, wants eight, nine, a ten. Found the head pin, oh, and she, she gets gonna, nine. She's gonna match it. She gets nine. We thought we had a strike, right. people. It's all right. Gotta be careful here, Becca. Gotta be careful. Becca. Becca. I don't know. I'm just going to the, the left wood. Wow, you had a mustache back then. Are you going back? That's the very. First That's the very episode? first episode. Oh wait a minute. We get. Are you we, kidding me? After the after this, we're gonna look at this. Nice shot, Becca. Uh, Are you kidding me? I gotta look. I'm going to play it in a second. I just want to make sure I get this right. So after five, Dupuy and Clausen at 47 working on a strike. Vestal and Dow at 68 working on a spare. 
Vessel and Dow up nine pins right now. Why don't you go back and meet some of the comments back then? <laughs> I can. <laughs> uh, first year. Up now, up on Alley 4, Mr. When did you Ray do you Dow? understand this? Uh, halfway through the second season. Six season. Right. So, That's one side of getting good. Wide right, <laughs> leaves the one, there two, go, six. Baby. Dave Dupree on Alley 3, the returning champ. Dead pin. Oh, oh. is he going to double? Almost come, double. On, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, half Get a pole. Half a stripper pole. Half a pole. Going after Ooh, one of the. Ray off. Uh, Ray couldn't oh, get his ball to cut in on that one. Yeah. Must have been that cookie. Cookies. And he's had a nice easy shot at a one pin spear there with a piece of dead wood hanging right out the front, better known as bond wood. Ray's favorite shot is the one, two, six. Oh, and the one, three, four. His least favorite shots are the five, nine, ten, or the five, seven, eight. Eight, no wood, and of course, the bronze shot, plus a one. <laughs> Dave Dupree, favorite shot is the 3.56 the or the 2.45. His least favorite shot, one without wood. Come on, come on. Oh, man, maybe and you want to, oh, look at this. He's also a truck driver for Home Depot, and he enjoys fishing. Oh, oh what a uh, bid by Ray. Dave Dupree, look at this, Dennis. Excuse me, I'm did, sorry to take you away from scoring, but I have no idea. Dennis, David, quick. Spray and pray. Spray and pray, <laughs> right. Look at this. Too much wood. He yep. put three pieces of wood around it, and not one of them knocked it down. Nine, Nine for Ray. Puts him at 94 through same, seven. Same pin for Dave to get a 10. Nope. Nope. Hit piece of dead wood. No and good Nine people. for Dupuis. Puts him at 84. Perus of candle pin bowling. Make contact with a piece of dead wood in the channel, which negates the shot. Okay, so do you want to take a guess who the uh, first... The two bowls on the show were? I say Billy Palumbo. No. Nope, that's wrong. No, it must have been. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe like a Lenny Daigle? Nope. nope. Evan Mazzafaro? Nope. Anthony Cameron? Nope. nope. No, this no, this is way before. This pre this pre predates everybody, so it must have been like uh a Ron Richard? Or yes. Ron Richard? Yep. Ron Richard, huh? Ron Richard was a number five seed, and number four seed was Gary Casey Jr. Yeah, oh, I almost yeah. said Gary. Yeah. Wow. That's a long, long time, long time ago. Long Seven time. years. Long time ago. Dave had a mustache. You remember that, Trav? No, oh, he's smiling. He's, they, they, David, he's the OEPD. Want to yeah. give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Little Ring Mass. Visit buynorthend.com. Or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau's excellent sales staff at new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see our good friend George. Parodies on candle pin bowling, duck uh, pin bowling, a spread 10 pin bowling, uh, videos on Minecraft and arcade one-up let's play games. And also uh, Minecraft live streams in Abandoned World. Also on Twitch TV. Here we go, people. Both people. Oh, both. I had hair back then, too. Look yeah, on that. your lip. It was like a caterpillar. Wow. Both bowlers hit in the head pin. One gets a spread a eagle team. minus the clock. The other one gets one of the six Mongols and picked it up for a spare. Nice shot. Oh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh. Tough breaks here. Seven box for three at a 110. And Dupuy and Claus are working on a spare, and they're 103 plus Well, ball. here we go, people. Box and number the 10. champs are up six pins right now plus the fill. Yep. Here we go. Big ball. Got the ball. Found the right, head right pin. down the middle uh, of the plate. No, look at this. Is this an aces and eight? It is, sure. it is. Twice he's hit the head pin, not, and he hasn't dropped more than six. Ooh. Oh, he didn't Only want two on the fill. Oh, didn't want that. Uh, so disappointing, Dennis. So disappointing. But, oh, right uh, there for Ray. Dave Dupuis got to throw the, the strike ball to get a spare. Didn't want that. Dupuis lumberjacking right now. He's dropping wood. Nine box for Ray puts them at 119. But the string <laughs> total of 228. Dave Dupuy gets a six. Six for a 111. But two string total of 233. So what do we got, Dennis? Five pin difference. Champs are up five pins going into the last string. Okay, let's see what happens, people. Five pin deficit here. Looking at the first episode of our show. They stopped Seven looking at years. that. <laughs> Seven years ago, yours truly there with my good buddy David McCullough calling the shot. Dennis joined us two and a half years later. 
One and a half. One and a half, excuse me. Becca throws a beautiful ball. She did, but she was a little thin on the head pin. Leaves the seven, eight, nine. Wow. Tom leaves <laughs> the one <laughs> pin. Just some of the comments from back in the day. There were a lot of negative ones back then, weren't there? Yeah. Yeah. Dude in the Boston shirt needs to get get low when delivering the ball, bouncing it off the lane like it's hard on your accuracy. Nice shot. That was like um, nice shot. You know, that was in the infancy of you know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just for instance, you know, going back to where um, you know I, I just saw a comment from Frank DeLuca. You know, the show has some serious potential, guys. If I'm recovered from my injury, I'll be there on the 23rd. Nice. So, I mean, yeah, that was six years ago. So you figure the potential oh. of what it is now. Oh, yeah. We nice have plenty shot. of potential. Nice shot by Becca. Put a little English on it. Leaves the three, oh, six, oh, ten. Only one on the spear. Oh, we didn't want that one. When Seems Becca is not bowling, she's a medical assistant, and she uh, enjoys bowling, and she's actually trying to golf. Uh, she wants to give a shout out to her daughters, Abby and Lily, and her cousin Dakota. Tried qualifying first time today. She did. Speaking of golfing, Dennis, you a golfer? I am not. Dennis, David? Yes, sir. Oh, you golf? I do, sir. Oh, never knew. Uh, oh, right through oh. the hoop. Only a three box. Oh, oh got to reset and forget well, right there. That put it as a one pin difference one right pin now. Diff. Wow, this sometimes is gonna be. That's, sometimes that's oh, what wait, you I need. could be wrong. No way. Oh, they're down eight. They're two. two. No, uh, I'm sorry. Vestal and Dow are up two right now. I forgot about the handicap. Back it down the middle. Come on, come on. Leaves Which the five pin. Leaves the king pin. Dave Dupree, right down, down the, the head plate. Pin. Come on, fall down, fall down, fall oh, down. He got it. That's nice actually, shot. that's Clawson. Tom Clawson gets the hammer. Nice shot. Now, people out there in bowling land, yours truly has picked up another colloquialism. Dennis, A what? David, colloquialism in bowling. When a pin is hit, falls a colloquial, that's what you call it. <laughs> Goes off the sideboard and rolls over, knocks down a pin. What do they call that pin that's rolling? Drunk? No. Rolling it's thunder? No. It's called a messenger. Another, ah. A messenger. Pick that up in the other boat. The ones who we despise. You picked the other. Uh, pick, well, that's, that's two, two terminologies. I, I wasn't oh, feeling Oh, a bomb. bomb. on a spear. You're picking up some nasty habits there, Bronchuk. Well, and nothing. There was nothing well, else on, so I happened to watch it. The commentators, hey, who I respect. Hey, Steve. Yeah. You, you know don't you, care, I know. Well, no, well, <laughs> no I do care. Oh, but thank I mean, you. But I, I do care. <laughs> that but came I mean, out wrong. I mean, let's, be, let's face it there. You know, you, you, some, some of the terminology you're using is 10 pin. Yeah. Well, it's only those two I picked up. I just thought maybe I could throw it out there, David. Oh, no, you no. thought wrong. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she wants to double, wants the three marks in a row, which would be a tricky. She wants to set a pot up real nice. This is her last box, probably going to eat overtime. Oh, boy. Yep. Watch this, then, yeah. That's what I thought. Take a little more extra time. I don't care what anyone says, people. The pressure gets to you. You want that head pin so bad, and she's got it. Right down the middle. Oh, oh I come back oh, in enough for I thought she right. had it. She's got another ball, though. She got the high-low jack with a joker. I thought she had that. Right. Well, it might be kind of a hard pickup, but. Tom Clawson up, wants to get back on the line. Oh, wow, we've got a break. Got a break. Got the dinner bucket plus the eight. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh. Ooh, leaves the high low jack. But still throws seven on the strike, which is not bad. Puts him up 14, box to box. Oh, geez, I thought he would have done better than that. Well, not him, but the ball should have done. Better. And eight. Eight puts them at 66 at the half. And Tom Clawson. Ten, ten, ten box ten. puts them 49. Becca just turned around and looked at him and said, let's go. So at the half, Becca and Ray are up 12 pins over the champs. Oh, here we go, people. Final five. 
Opening round for the quality. Opening round for climbing up the ladder to get the world championship belts. A doubles, candle pin bowl, and here. This is where Dave Dupuis is dangerous. Turns it on. This is where he's extremely Who's dangerous. Who's going to go after the belt? Oh. oh. He's off just a little bit today, Des. Dave Dupuis. Oh, now that was a weird one. Hits the head pin. Bounces off, takes out the full six, comes back. And gets nice bid by Ray. Come on, come on. Dennis, get on there and kick that seven pin yeah. down. Make it roll over and hit the ten. No, Dennis, David can make the ten go down for the ball. When Ray's not bowling, he's actually a delivery driver from Myrick's pink lemonade stand. Oh, come nice. on. Nice, he got a promotion. Yep. Oh, wow. Wait yep. Myrick, Myrick is driving. Excuse me, it's having lemonade delivered? Ray, Ray's the delivery driver for Myrick's Pink Lemonade Stand. I thought it was lemon. Pink, pink lemonade, remember? Pink, yeah, yeah, no, but, pink, but a lemon favored lemonade. That's what we talked about one time. Pink flavored. Okay, now, why is pink? Didn't you have another one that cost more money? Pink. Yeah, why does one cost more than the other? You're supposed because to get it pink. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, look at this. Oh, Ray got a break. Talk about it. There it is. One of the six Mongols, the one, two, three. He touches it between the one, two, and he's got this one. And Dave Dupuis. Oh, almost. Almost. I told you, this is where Dupuis is very dangerous. He can just turn it on at the drop of a hat. Oh, big shot here. Oh, Ray missed the head pin. Completely missed his object. He's got to settle in. Needed that spear. <clears throat> Needed it. Oh, nine box to Dupuis. Dave. Dennis, Dave, look at him. He's looking at the 10 pin. How did that thing stay up? Wasn't touched. Eight oh, I know. Five pin difference right now. This is getting interesting. Chance down people. five going into the last three. Gonna be interesting. The champs are down? Yeah. Champs are down, yeah. This is where Ray needs to settle in and Time to not overthrow it. Oh, nice ball, but he leaves an inverted half whistle. Makeable, makeable spare. Make contact with that two pin, it should drive out the eight. Okay, Ray up. A little extra time here, people. Wide There's right again. Larry left. Right. No, I'm not liking this wood for. Yeah, I don't know. I agree with you. I you would hit. almost play the left wood. Yeah, you hit the right wood, it's just going to deflect the ball. Uh, it's going to go left in the. You know what I would pin. do? Thread the needle. Nah, I don't think so. You're going to cap it then, David, I think. Come on, you got it, yes! Oh, wow. Oh, nice Beautiful shot, you're shot. absolutely right. Bowling God shine on them. Two out of three boxes when it counts Dave Dupuis with Max. Talk about candle pin bowling Told you, this pressure. is where Dupuis is dangerous. He comes right yeah. back on. Oh, you called it, Dennis. You called it. You told the people. You told the audience what to expect. I bowled against him enough in yeah. the pro league through the years. I know. <laughs> so it's only two pin difference right now. So whatever Dupuis throws over two on this hill is going to be the league going into the last oh, two boy, boxes. You want that pocket, people. You got to get the head pin. Thank you to Glenn McIntyre watching from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Thank you. Thank Nick, you. Very Nick very Lang. Bowl 97 from New Glasgow, New Minis. Oh, drop seven with a look like a weak hit. And, oh, head pin. Nice He's ball by Ray. This is nice where he needs ball. to focus. He's a, a three, All six, right. ten. Makeable spare. They're tied Dave. box to box in a string. That means the chance are oh, up this five. Is, this is going to be interesting, people. This is going to be interesting. Both bowlers studying the shots. Both bowlers handling the ball a little bit tighter. I think Dave's better. Uh, yeah. nice, oh, shot. Nice, nice shot. shot. He knew it. Turned around. Applauded the bowling guards. Made the shot. And yes. Ray needed that definitely. And Ray's got it too. He matched it. Both bowlers get spares in the ninth box, better known as the foundation box in candle pin bowling. What do we got? Five pin difference. Five pin difference with one to go. The champs up. The champs are up five. Champs are up. Well, here we go, Comes people. Right the race fell. Here we go. This is what it's all about, people. Here we go. He's got the head pin, and oh. he drops eight. Wait Maybe nine. nine. Could be nine. Will it Could go? Be ten. No, it stayed up. Darn oh, it. It's still wiggling. I ain't writing that down yet. Ray up. Wants eight, nine, and Ray ten. Needs a but more right important, ahead. he wants a spear. Oh, oh he's one more. He's, he's got seven. He leaves one of the six Mongols. The one, two, three again. Had this shot two boxes ago, and Dave Ooh. Dupuis made it. Made the two pinner. Come right down to the very last box. Ray needs this. Oh, oh that's nope. it. It's over. 
The champs move on. Mr. Dave Dupree and Mr. Tom Clawson defeated Mr. Ray Dow and Ms. Becca Vestal. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors one last time, North End Mazda Subaru. Visit BuyNorthEnd.com. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch for Second Bowling and see in our good friend George and on Kendall Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, and Ten Pin Bowling. Also want to thank everybody out on YouTube, land, Facebook, and local access for tuning in for watching season seven of the King of the Palace, the tag team doubles. Want to thank the OEPD. Want to thank Stephen B. Stevie B. Stevie B. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, David. Uh, Always uh, a pleasure. Dennis Nuz, O. Amber. Yo. And for myself, thank you very much for tuning in. And the final and, uh, score. Dennis, Give us the rundown. At the end of three, Dupuy and Clawson with a 121 for a three-string total of 354. Vestal and Dow with a 115 for a three-string total of 343. Marks total difference, Dennis? Yes, Dupuy yeah. and Clawson had 11 spares yeah. and two strikes. Dow and Vestal had seven spares and one strike. Okay, we're going to go to the 11th box with Dennis and other. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm standing here with the champs and still reigning King of Palace Tag Team Champions, the team of Dupuy and Clawson. 354 to 343, 122, 111, 121. Not bad. How would you feel about your bowling? Uh, it came a little bit around the, the last few boxes. I, I had to bear down a little bit harder. It was I mean, down, down 14 to 15 pins when I got up there and uh, Ray started struggling, so it gave me an opening and uh, I, I took advantage of it. That's why I said to the guys in the booth, I said, watch, this is the last five boxes, this is Dupuy. He's going to stop bowling, you know, like he normally does. He's going to you got to watch out for him because he's very deadly in these kind of situations. And you proved me right, so thank you. <laughs> How'd you feel? Not good at all. I wish I could have helped Dave a lot better or did a lot better than I did, but hopefully next time. A win's a win, and that's why it's tag team. So, well, good luck to you next week because it's not getting easier, especially with the team you got coming up. Because Dean has been here. Since like the, the molding, yeah, exactly. He's the Tom Oster of this show, right? He, he is. He's really he is the Tom Oster of the show. Right? <laughs> Glad you said it. I didn't have to say it. <laughs> well, I'll see you guys next week. 